Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here. And today we're checking out the Pride of Hall Clyde. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. This guy was so interesting because you usually don't see a 215, let alone a Simic Commander as a 215. But I think this commander is a really fun commander. It's kind of a trap to build it in Defender Tribal. Like I say in one of the gameplays, a buddy of mine in the Discord said, you kind of just want to run Simic Big Boys. The commander's ability already draws you cards from having that creature's toughness be high. So if you can do damage and have that creature's toughness be high because it's a big boy, it's just extra value anyway. Stuff like Uro, Silverback Elder, Vornclex, Defiler of Vigor, Zapondril. I mean, all these guys already have high toughness, so when we attack and deal damage with them, we're already drawing a ton of cards. But you do want to have things to have your deck have evasion. Flying, Trample, Unblockable. We have the Trailblazer's Boots, Crashing Drawbridge to give it haste, the Zephyr Charge. I know, a really weird card. I've never used this card, but I was like, this seems really cool. Garuk's Uprising, even Ronus the Indomitable is a 5-5 five five for 3 mana, and it gives us Trample when we need it to. And Wander. We can discard this, put it in the graveyard, and now all your creatures are flying. There is some defender support in here, not that much. The original deck list was a defender build. All the defenders do is just sit on the board. Unless we have assault formation, then your creature's just gonna sit on the board and do nothing. We don't want that. So that's why I went with the big baddie approach, and um, I think it works out really, really well. Walking Bulwark can make our commander hit for 15. If you have enough mana with these two on the field, you can activate your commander's ability and then activate Bulwark's ability. And now you have a 16, 15 essentially, and you're gonna draw 15 cards. Ah, that's a little insane. So let me know what you guys think of the deck list down below and consider following me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. It helps out the channel a lot and it would mean the world to me. Without further ado, let's get right into it and let's see how the deck does, shall we? We go first, we're up against Marwin the Nurturer. Let's keep this. We don't have removal for Marwin, which that in itself can definitely be a uh, problem. But what fun would magic be if you always kept a hand with removal in it? it you know what? It's just like some decks you know you absolutely need a removal spell like Marwin can come down turn two and just start causing havoc. So it's just like, man, you gotta get, you gotta do something. Let's play uh, the Enigma Jewel. And then we'll play Overgrown Battlement. Gallagraders. It's great for Marwin. Ooh, we didn't draw land. What the heck, Arena? Guess we'll go Guardian Project. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna cycle this. Land? No, no land. Oh! No! Uh, Wash Away would be great. Cause, uh, now we... We can't counter Marwin. That would have been awesome. Countering Marwin would have gave us a little bit more time. There's a land. I'll take that. Get a blue. That's all we could get is an island. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. Good Tetsuko. The Tetsuko still means pride can't be blocked. But let's play Tetsuko. Um, and we'll do this. Uh, you know what? I did that totally wrong. I did that totally wrong. I forgot that the Enigma Jewel can only be... The mana can only be used for activated abilities. That's my fault. I wanted to draw off of the 
of a cre of another creature coming in. I was just gonna play our commander. Oh my goodness. This is why you gotta counter Marwin. He basically just gets that mana right back. Because Marwin is four power, so they get four mana. Like how crazy is that? Great hinge. That's gross. Uh, let's play Pride. So Overgrown Battlemate can't be blocked. Oh, we can't activate the, their abilities anyway. I don't have double blue. Why would you use the blue auto tapper? God, that, oh, that pisses me off. Uh, I can't even activate Pride's ability. Oh, that makes me mad. Alright, um... It used the blue. I was gonna activate the Pride's ability on the Overgrown Battlement, but it used the blue, the blue mana to cast the Pride. So I don't have another blue blue mana, so kind of screwed me over. I don't even have mana for a wash away. Nah, yeah, that kind of sucks. Bird at Rejuvenation, Paradox Engine. Uh, God, I'm just going to concede to that. I don't have any artifact removal. Hey, when I see fucking decks like that, I'm tapping with Paradox and Gun Shit's so worn. Alright, you want to play your deck now? I get it, but. We go first, we're up against Michael Tyrant. One of my favorite cards from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. And this is a pretty sweet hand. Let's keep this. Let's keep this. Boil Grazer. Drops as a 0 3. Makes Pride cost 3 less. Put the blue source down. That always feels good doing that when you go, when you go first. Deathrite Shaman. Let's play Ronus. Bright now costs three mana. Now they're going to have to at least play an exile effect on Ronus. This Miracle Orb, huh? Kind of helps us because that'll put Wander in the graveyard, giving our commander evasion. Let's get blue. So we can have that double blue goodness. Play a race with this. Just ramp up a little bit more. They do have Deathrite Shaman though, so we won't. If we do get Wander, they can just exile it out the graveyard. But I do love Mesmeric Orb with Michael Tyrant. It's so good. It's so good, yeah. So we played Saruk and Gorkal next turn, and then. We play our commander the next turn after that. If we draw, if we draw a green source, or if we draw anything actually, 
if we draw any land besides the temple, we can actually play uh, the Pride and Goreclaw. Yeah, we'll just do this. Oh, yeah. I wish the Rock and Goreclaw had haste coming in. That'd be sweet. Man, Mesmeric Orb is so sick, and Michael Tyrant, I love it. Uh, let's see what they do. Casualties of War really hurts us here. Um, Cryptolith Rite is so good for them. Insidious Roots, I was just about to say that. It's really good for them here, because they're about to make five. Fungus dudes. Village rights. Man, can you imagine if these... If these fungus can block? I wonder if they'll ever make a card... That... That will say, like, creatures that can't block... Are able to do so. I wonder if that if that ever be a thing. Or maybe there is. I just don't know. Ooh, prime time. Prime time is good. Hmm. Let's do this. Tap that down, we'll play our commander off that. Then we're going to activate his ability. Gonna give it a Pride's ability. God no, bro. Auto tapper, dog. Auto tapper. They can block here so we don't draw cards. Okay, I mean, it worked out, but I wanted to just leave a green open so we can activate Ronus's ability. It just, ugh. Really upsets me. We can throw back the, uh,. Can throw back the insidious roots. We'll we'll see what happens here. Let's let's see what happens this turn. Whether whether we need to throw something back to their graveyard, back to their to their hand with the Odawara. Another creature with power that enters the battlefield. You control. You surveil one. Hey, nothing too crazy. Two cards in hand. We're gonna be able to play Mar March of the last March of the Ants next turn. That's gonna be so sick. Squirming emergence, cemetery tampering. That would have been sweet if you would have got something crazier back with that. But squirming emergence is so good in that deck. Turn to the battlefield target and only a permanent card in graveyard with mana value less than or equal to the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. What else you got, buddy? Got plenty of mana. Plenty, plenty of mana. Just depends on what he's got. Odawar, Odawar can't return spells. I 
unfortunately, he's going to make all these tokens. Oh, swinging? I guess he wants more stuff to go to the grave. Oh no, he wants them to untap for his Miracle Orb. Uh, I'm nervous. Uh, let, let's not block anything. I don't want them to blow up the Pride or Saruk and Dorklaw. Because we can win next turn, actually. I don't want them to... I don't want them to scoop. I'll let him have it. Let's see if I can win. Uh, let's see if I can win with Last March of the Ends. <laughs> Odawara. If I had sent their commander back now, they would definitely scoot. I think me just playing Last March of the Ends right now would make would make them scoot. Because Gor so Rock and Gorklaw gives everything haste, so whatever I put down is gonna have haste. Wait, do I have enough mana? One, two, three. Oh, I do. Okay, I do have just enough. Oh my goodness! Don't quit. Let me do this. Let this happen. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not even that bad. Oh my god, <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad he let that resolve and I can just throw everything on the board. I appreciate that opponent. <laughs> Will we go first, we're up against Voja with Jaws of the Conclave. And I gotta be a little quiet, my son is sleeping, I apologize for that. Let's see what we can do against a deck like Voja. Um, I will say this deck is pretty slow. Well, this hand is pretty slow, I would say. But I'll keep it. Hopefully they have a bad hand. Um, Voja is pretty fast. Yeah, they already got the Elvish Mystic. Kind of, uh... Yeah, it's kind of what I was afraid of. Oh, send that pack leader. Nice. No turn to dork? Strange. So we got the crashing footfalls. That's gonna be nice. Ooh. Little war is pretty good. Let's play Ronus. Hopefully they don't Swords of Plowshares it. Can't do anything right now. Anyway. Oh, are they mana screwed? They kind of are. Able to passage without a fourth land kind of sucks. We need this land, so we're just gonna play it down. Um, I don't have a way to swing with Volja outright, so I think we can safely play a Rixmethis. That give us the mana to play the Pride next turn. And Romus is in here. Because we have... We have... Things with power for a greater. It's just the process of getting those things onto the battlefield. Beast Whisperer, huh? I don't think this is as fast as my Volja. But I mean, we're already at 13 life. So next turn we get... Next turn we get uh 
the rhinos here. Let's take a counter off where Ricksmith is. And let's place Swiftfoot Boots. And let's also play the Pride. We're going to hold back for now. Sword of Forge and Frontier. Protection from green. They just happen to have that in hand, don't they? Isn't that something? Isn't that something how they just happen to have that one card that would help that helps them out? I don't know. Shuffler rigged, man. Alright, counter off for Rooksmith is. Um, what I might do here is I might just go get... Go and get a... Creature that might be able to deal with the sword. Invasion. X or less. I gotta put all my mana into it because I don't remember what I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So X would be five. Remove a counter from Richmond is Search my library. Uh let's see here. Oh, I don't think I have anything. I don't have anything to deal with that. Wow. Isn't that unfortunate? Ah. Uh. I need some artifact removal on this deck. I guess I could get a blue card. Let's get sharks. Now I just hope they don't have a uh, removal spell for sharks. I thought I had artifact removal and a creature in here. I guess not. What does this do? Creature control get plus one plus one. Okay, let's see what they do. Volja comes down. They're gonna draw a lot of cards and they're gonna put a lot of counters on things. If they manage to swing with that. I think we just can't just just don't let them swing. We have a big board state. We don't have trample though. We could give everything trample with the Ronus. I believe. I need green mana. And lots of it. Um. I don't think I can win. Charge gets my plus X minus X to end a turn with X is the number of islands you control. We control one island. So we'd become a 116. If you give something trample, I can give a Ricksmith this trample, but he would probably just. Uh, that's, that's tough. That's a tough one. Let's do this. Let's equip this to the shark, just in case they draw a removal spell. And then what I'm going to do is... I can't give trample to everything. Just one, two, three, four. Four, just four things. I wouldn't have enough anyway. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess I'll just do that. So he blocks with this. Since this has protection, we'll just block with everything else. I mean, we'll just assign damage to everything else. First, since we can't kill that dude. We'll do this. We'll do this. I think that's... I think that assigns combat damage to its toughness, right? Oh no, just draws cards equal to its toughness. Yeah, we'll go from there. Kill that, kill that. We lose a Rick's with this, but we draw cards. Now, would you look at that? Uh, black. Okay, no. Let's so put something down with a little bit of toughness. Go down to two. We'll discard three cards. Discard that. Discard that. And discard that. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Put that to Bulger. We can still block. We can still block because of the, the sword only gives protection from green. We block with the sharks. Thank goodness for sharks <laughs> being a zero seventeen. <laughs> oh boy. Cemetery Prowler. Well we win, I think, with Rivers Rebuke. Believe so. Unless they have Nope. I think we win here. Ah, uh, we did it. <laughs> I thought that was going to be game. We came back. Rivers of Buke. You know, people wonder why I put Leyline of Sanctity into my Vulture deck. This is the exact reason why. We go first. We're up against Omnath, Locust of All. Ooh, I wish this temple was an untapped land. This would be a great hand if it was. Either way, we're going to play Mana Confluence into Land War Elves. See if we can hit this turn to Cultivate. That'd be sweet. We cannot. We will instead. Uh, yeah, I'll throw that down. We need land. Uh, we'll instead play Wall of Blossoms. There's our land. Our deck against a more mid-range deck like five color decks want to be isn't really that great. Let's play Cultivate. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get an island, get a forest, put the forest down. Since we kind of want to build up our board state, they want to build up their board state. Kind of what it is. Oh, don't tell me you got land destruction. He's over here looking at our lands. Um, 
counter spell maybe. That's at least what I'm sensing. There's not much I can do anyway. I mean, I play... Play Volan Clex, it gets countered. Play my commander, it gets countered. Maybe maybe playing my commander there would have been better. But it would have been the optimal choice. Since I get the... Get the uh, reduced cost from it any, either way. Reliquary Tower. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do this. Three, one clicks. Two forest. Three pool. And we'll play the pride. And we'll put the Swiftfoot Boots on the Vornclex. And we'll start the slaughter. Now, the only thing is, I know they're probably going to have a board wipe here. Because that's just what five color decks have in their hand, apparently all the time, is board wipes. Or some sort of removal. Oh, yeah. I love it. Give me more land, please. I'll get another green. Um, our commander gets reduced tax, my friend. We can play our commander now for two mana. Hazer's Gateway. That is one slow car for five colors. Alright. Let's play the Orcane Signet. I, I bet they're going to have Ruinous Ultimate in this game. I just feel it in my bones. I feel it. I feel like they're going to have it. We still draw cards. There we go. That's that's kind of what I needed, though. I needed to, I needed to draw some cards because we were kind of Kind of whiffing there. Oh yeah, crashing footballs. We'll suspend that. And we'll pass a turn. We'll get rid of this island here. Oh wait. Island and... Not Fable Passage. We'll get rid of these two islands. For some reason, five these... I was going to say these five color decks always have them, but when I'm playing Omnath, I usually find myself... First sliver and Omnath, they usually always draw the Ruinous Ultimatum. And it is quite annoying, to say the least. They can play their commander here. But we're just going to wash away it. If that happens. They're doing all this ramping and they're about to die. Gotta put a presence on board or something. Hmm. I had not seen this card. This is... That is very new to me. What are you playing here, my friend? I am completely lost. Um... I don't even know what to do. That threw me for a loop. We'll do this. We'll draw a card off of this. They can counter this if they want. That's fine. And we... Will... We will swing. Draw a bunch of cards. 
Let's see. Still didn't draw a wonder. That kind of sucks. I do want to leave mana open for a counter spell though. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I left two green open. That kind of sucks. Well. That does kind of suck. Yeah, let's, I'm just going to play the Loam Speaker. Probably has a board wipe. Waiting for us, but. So just in case they have a board wipe. We gotta find a way to restabilize, right? So we'll get bedrock tortoise. We'll keep the wash away. I don't think I need kind of transformation. They might not even do anything. Uh we'll keep we'll keep the Lorian brooch. Let's see here. We'll keep the walking ball rock. Sorry, Joriel, Uro, and Guardian Project. I guess wash away. Play your counterspell if you want. And he gives us mana. I am fine with that. I think we win. Land you control becomes XX green and blue bird. Creature talking with flying. Haste to turn excess number of cards in your hand. Every land creature control does combat damage. Draw a card. I think we win with the Jariel here. Walking Balrock too. To under turn turret creature with defender gains haste. Can attack as though it didn't have defender. And the science combat damage is equal to its toughness rather than its power. So let's do this. First before they do anything. Play this. Lots of ways I can win here. And uh, that's going to be game. GG's. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't wipe the board. I wonder if they weren't scared, but I don't know. They had counter magic, but I don't know what their deck was trying to do this whole game. Just playing weird cards. What are you playing this Extract a Confession for? Just seems really out of place to me. Counterspell too, and offer you can't refuse. I get you're trying to play counter magic in a five color deck, but you really want mul uh, multiple pips in your mana calls with Omnath. I don't know. GG's. We go up against Arcades. This is an interesting matchup. Um, this is an okay hand at best. Be great if we drew into our lands, but we'll see. This so this is inter is this though that can't even talk words, please. This is an interesting matchup for a couple reasons. I'm gonna go get the shock for spell pierce. Just in case they uh try to play Arcane Signet turn two. So this is an interesting matchup for a couple of reasons. Both our decks kind of have to do with, uh, kind of have to do with defender creatures. Um, ours have like multitude. So yeah, we're, we're worried about defenders, but we're also, I mean, we're not really, we only have like four or five defenders in the deck. I, I took a lot of them out as I kept playing with the deck and kept playing with the deck. A, a buddy, one of my buddies in the Discord basically said, you basically just run this as a big boy Simic deck, as always. And I kind of have to agree, when I played it, when I tried to play the deck with a lot of defenders, 
the problem I had is that the creatures would just sit on the board. They wouldn't do anything. They can't do anything unless you have something to make them attack. Because defenders can't attack, so... It's really interesting. Uh, we could play sharks, I think. Yeah, so it's really interesting. So we do still have things like sharks. It's, it's just funny to play a zero seventeen, but a lot of a lot of times the creatures just stay on board and just like just like nah, just doesn't. It doesn't do anything for me. Let's do... Canada's Transformation. Ah, you have nothing. Play our Crashing Drawbridge. And... This is kind of what I mean here. So, Ronus is in here because it's a 5-5 five, five for 3 mana. But... Like sharks, our commander, and crashing drawbridge, we can't do nothing. We literally just have a wall that our opponent cannot get through. And that's only if they don't have flyers. If they have flyers, then we're in big trouble. Um, it just... I just really think... I just really think that uh, this commander just benefits just from playing here. Your your uh, semi deck just like you would. Anyway. Oh, that works out. Let's play Tetsuko. Well, we still have Imprison in the Moon for Arcades. I'm pretty sure they run the Pride in their deck too. <laughs> I knew it. That's what they went to go fetch. We can destroy both of these with Silverback Elder. Oh, I need mana. I need mana and I need it now. There's mana. We'll play our commander. Destroy target artifact. Let's get rid of this guy. We gotta make their pride cost a, a little less. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Oh, they will block though. Oh, don't tell me you got another board wipe in there. Don't tell me you got another board wipe in there, Sonny. Well, we are going to imprison the moon that. Um... I think we win here. Get rid of this. We'll imprison the moon. Yeah, because Garuk's Uprising gives us uh, Trample. And that is GG's, my friend. It's an interesting matchup, but gotta run some removal in your deck, man. 